guests. Um, we're singing the flower duet from the opera Lacme, and it's all about describing a beautiful scene. And the images behind us as we're singing are all of Canberra in um, its in the nature. So there's flowers or parks, there's the seasons, the trees in all the seasons. So it matches very well with the music that we're singing. What about your performance? Uh, you mentioned that this is obviously a place that you've been uh, you've performed before. So, how how is it going to be different? This performance, you think, is it the setting? Is it the fact that it's going with the images? Yeah, the setting, yeah. and, and, and the, the event. Yeah. And people won't be looking at us; they'll be looking at the screen, yeah. <laughs> at the yes. images, and yes. just so that it, our music will be part of the, the images. Yes. Does that change your performance in any way, or the way you approach it? The fact that people are not focusing on you physically, but on your voice in some way? Yes, yeah, yes. we'll change it slightly, yes, definitely, and we'll probably be looking at the images too. Yes. Yeah. Do you find them inspiring? Yes, very much so. They're very beautiful pictures, and it's very beautiful music. How do you feel about being part of the Canberra Centenary Celebrations? It's lovely to be involved, as, as Canberrans. Yeah, it's lovely to be a Canberra, and it's lovely to be part of it all. Yeah, it's, it's a special time. Yeah. Where can people see you next? After, of course, Sunday. <laughs> What's your next week? I'm on on Monday as well, uh, the centennial celebrations, singing um, Peter J. Casey's song, Beautiful, which is about the aftermath of the bushfires. So um, that's down at Old Parliament House. I'm going to be interstate in the next couple of months, but then I'm back for the Canberra International Music Festival in May. Okay, well, thank you very much.